Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. And today we're diving deep into the world of password cracking with an epic showdown, John the Ripper versus Hashcat. Ever wondered which tool reigns supreme in the battle for digital security? We're talking about the tools that security professionals and, let's be real, some not-so-ethical hackers use to test and potentially exploit password vulnerabilities. Now, before we jump in, it's crucial to remember that with great power comes great responsibility. We're exploring these tools for educational purposes only, to understand how they work and, more importantly, how to protect ourselves. So buckle up, grab your favorite beverage, and let's get ready to explore the ins and outs of these powerful cracking tools. We'll break down their features, compare their performance, and see which one comes out on top. Let's get started. First up, we've got John the Ripper, a veteran in the password cracking scene. This tool has been a staple in the cybersecurity world for decades, earning its stripes through years of reliable service. This tool has been around for ages, and it's built on a foundation of open source development. The open source nature of John the Ripper means that anyone can contribute to its development making it a truly collaborative effort. That means a global community of brilliant minds is constantly tweaking, refining, and expanding its capabilities. This collective effort ensures that John the Ripper stays ahead of the curve, adapting to new challenges and evolving threats. It's like the Linux of password cracking software, reliable, powerful, and always evolving. Just like Linux, John the Ripper benefits from a dedicated community that is passionate about security and innovation. Now, one of John the Ripper's biggest strengths is its versatility. It's not just a one-trick pony. It can handle a variety of tasks with ease. We're talking about a tool that can tackle a wide range of hashing algorithms. From the most common to the more obscure, John the Ripper has got you covered. Think of it like a Swiss Army knife for cracking passwords. It's got a tool for almost every hashing situation you might encounter. This versatility makes it an invaluable tool for any security professional. Whether you're dealing with MD5, SHA-1, or even more exotic algorithms, John the Ripper is up for the challenge. But wait, there's more. It can also handle salted hashes, which adds an extra layer of complexity to the cracking process. John the Ripper isn't just about brute force, though it can definitely handle that. Brute force attacks involve trying every possible combination of characters until the correct one is found, and John the Ripper excels at this. It also boasts some seriously clever cracking techniques. These advanced methods can significantly reduce the time it takes to crack a password. We're talking about dictionary attacks where it tries out words from a massive list including common passwords and variations. And incremental mode where it systematically works through different character combinations. This method is particularly effective against passwords that use a mix of characters. It's like having a whole team of password cracking experts at your fingertips. With John the Ripper, you have access to a wide range of techniques and tools that can help you crack even the toughest passwords. And here's the best part. John the Ripper is incredibly user-friendly. Despite its powerful capabilities, it's designed to be accessible to users of all skill levels. Even if you're not a command line wizard, you can get it up and running without pulling your hair out. The interface is straightforward and there are plenty of resources to help you get started. There's a ton of documentation and tutorials available online covering everything from basic setup to advanced techniques. And the community is super helpful if you ever get stuck. Whether you have a simple question or need help with a complex issue, there's always someone willing to lend a hand. It's like they say, sharing is caring. And the John the Ripper community takes that to heart. This spirit of collaboration is one of the reasons why John the Ripper has remained relevant for so long. But John the Ripper's claim to fame is its portability. You can take it with you wherever you go making it a versatile tool for on-the-go security assessments. You can run this bad boy on pretty much any operating system you can think of. Whether you're a Windows user, a Linux enthusiast, or a macOS aficionado, John the Ripper has you covered. Windows, Linux, macOS, you name it, John the Ripper can probably run on it. This cross-platform compatibility makes it a go-to tool for many security professionals. It's like having a password-cracking sidekick that can follow you wherever you go. Whether you're working from a coffee shop or conducting a security audit in the field, John the Ripper is always ready to assist. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room speed. While John the Ripper is powerful, it's not the fastest tool out there. 
John the Ripper isn't exactly known for being a speed demon, especially when compared to its GPU-accelerated rivals. GPU acceleration can significantly speed up the cracking process, but John the Ripper primarily relies on your CPU. It relies primarily on your CPU, which can be a bit of a bottleneck, especially when you're dealing with complex hashes and massive password lists. This can make the cracking process slower than some of the more modern tools. But hold on, don't write John the Ripper off just yet. Its open source nature means that it's constantly being improved and optimized. Remember, it's open source and constantly being improved. The community is always looking for ways to make it faster and more efficient. The community is always working on optimizations and new features, ensuring that John the Ripper remains a competitive tool in the ever-evolving field of cybersecurity. And there are even forks of John the Ripper that are specifically designed for speed. These versions leverage modern hardware and techniques to deliver faster performance. So, while it might not be the fastest out of the gate, it's definitely no slouch. With the right optimizations and hardware, John the Ripper can hold its own against the competition. So, there you have it, John the Ripper, the OG password cracker. It's a tool that has stood the test of time and continues to be a valuable asset in the world of cybersecurity. It's versatile, user-friendly, portable, and constantly evolving. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, John the Ripper has something to offer. It might not be the fastest kid on the block, but it's a reliable and powerful tool that deserves a spot in any security professional's arsenal. With its rich history and ongoing development, John the Ripper is a testament to the power of open source software. Now let's shift gears and dive into the world of GPU accelerated password cracking. This is where the magic happens, and it's all thanks to a tool called Hashcat. Hashcat is the speed demon of the password cracking world, renowned for its raw power and efficiency. This tool leverages the parallel processing capabilities of your graphics card, turning it into a password cracking powerhouse. We're talking about cracking speeds that can leave John the Ripper eating its dust. Hashcat's performance is on another level. Hashcat is all about efficiency. It's designed to squeeze every last drop of performance out of your hardware and it shows in its results. It's like having a finely tuned engine that maximizes every bit of power from your system, ensuring no resource goes to waste. When you unleash Hashcat on a password hash, it's like watching a high-performance sports car going full throttle on the Autobahn. It's fast, it's furious, and it gets the job done in record time. One of Hashcat's key advantages is its support for multiple attack modes. This flexibility allows you to tailor your approach based on the specific challenge at hand. We're talking about brute force, dictionary attacks, rule-based attacks, and more. And even hybrid attacks that combine different techniques to maximize the chances of success. It's like having a whole arsenal of password cracking weapons at your disposal, each designed for a specific type of target. But Hashcat's real superpower is its ability to harness the power of your GPU. This is where it truly shines. GPUs are designed for parallel processing, which means they can handle massive amounts of data simultaneously. This makes them perfect for password cracking, where you're essentially trying out millions or even billions of password combinations. The ability to process so many combinations at once is what gives Hashcat its edge, making it a formidable tool in the hands of a skilled user. With Hashcat, you can unleash the full potential of your GPU, turning it into a password-cracking beast. It's like strapping a rocket engine to your computer and watching it blast through password hashes at lightning speed. The speed and efficiency are truly remarkable, making it a favorite among cybersecurity professionals. Trust me, once you've experienced the speed of GPU accelerated password cracking, there's no going back. The difference is night and day, but Hashcat's speed comes at a price complexity. This tool isn't exactly known for its user friendliness. The command line interface can be a bit daunting, especially for beginners, and the sheer number of options and settings can be overwhelming. It's like trying to navigate a labyrinth blindfolded. It takes time, patience, and a bit of trial and error to master. But don't let that scare you away. The learning curve might be steep, but the rewards are definitely worth the effort. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be amazed by its power and flexibility. Plus, there are tons of resources available online, including tutorials, forums, and even dedicated Hashcat communities. These can be invaluable as you learn the ropes. Another thing to keep in mind is that Hashcat's performance is highly dependent on your hardware. The faster and more powerful your GPU, the faster Hashcat will be able to crack passwords. 
So if you're serious about password cracking, you might want to invest in a beefy graphics card. This investment can significantly boost your cracking speeds and overall efficiency. So there you have it, Hashcat, the speed demon of password cracking. It's powerful, versatile, and lightning fast, but it also comes with a steep learning curve and a reliance on powerful hardware. If you're up for the challenge, Hashcat is an incredibly rewarding tool that can take your password cracking to the next level. With the right hardware and a bit of perseverance, you'll be unlocking passwords faster than ever before. So gear up, dive in, and unleash the full power of your GPU with Hashcat. The world of password cracking awaits. So there you have it. John the Ripper vs. Hashcat, two titans of the password cracking world. These tools have been at the forefront of cybersecurity for years, each with its own dedicated following and unique capabilities. We've explored their strengths, their weaknesses, and everything in between. From their ease of use to their raw power, each tool brings something different to the table. But which one comes out on top? It's a tough call, and the answer isn't straightforward. Well, as with most things in life, it depends. Your specific needs, your hardware, and your level of expertise all play a crucial role in determining the best fit for you. Both tools have their strengths and are powerful in their own right. They each offer unique features that can be game changers in the right hands. John the Ripper is a versatile and user-friendly option that's perfect for beginners and those who value portability. Its ability to run on a wide range of hardware makes it accessible to many users. Hashcat, on the other hand, is a speed demon that can leverage the power of your GPU to crack passwords at lightning speed. It's ideal for those who need to process large datasets quickly. Ultimately, the best choice for you will depend on your specific needs and setup. Consider what you value more, ease of use and portability, or raw speed and power. If you're looking for a user-friendly tool that can run on a wide range of hardware, John the Ripper is a great option. Its versatility and ease of use make it a favorite among many. If you need raw speed and have a powerful GPU at your disposal, Hashcat is the way to go. Its ability to harness GPU power makes it incredibly fast and efficient. No matter which tool you choose, remember to use your powers for good and always prioritize ethical hacking practices. The goal is to improve security, not to exploit vulnerabilities. If you enjoyed this epic showdown, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews, comparisons, and deep dives. Your support helps us bring you the best content. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting content and let us know in the comments which tool you prefer and why.